My family, I want you to look at this video. This video of Kay Moulton trying to intimidate Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, right after the Queen passed away. When Kate, William, Prince Harry and Meghan did that royal walkabout right after the Queen passed away. Look at how Kay Moulton, my family, stared at Meghan. And you tell me, my family, in your own honest opinion, from this body language, you tell me exactly just who is the bully in this story. You will find that the bully has never ever been Megan. The bullies have been Prince William, K. Moulton, Charles, and Camilla, who my family have who have gone after this innocent woman, all because of jealousy, all because they're jealous of her and Harry's star power, and they have tried to destroy her for many years now, for many years, and they're still trying to destroy Megan. My family, Megan, as you all know, right after even the queen passed away, instead of royals, William, Charles, K. Camilla, mourning the queen, they were busy bullying Harry and Meghan. They were busy mistreating Harry and Meghan. We know for a fact that Charles was calling Harry, telling Harry, before the queen passed away, don't bring Meghan to Balmoral, while insulting Harry's wife and the mother of his kids. William also and K. Moulton were treating Meghan appallingly, and I've been treating her appallingly for quite a very, very long time. It's all down to jealousy, racism, and my family, xenophobia, which I condemn in the strongest terms possible. And uh, my family, first of all, the reason why I even wanted to make this video is my family to remind you of a couple of things. Number one, as you all know, Prince Harry is in New York City. While members of the royal family, senior members of the royal family are busy on vacation. <laughs> my family doing nothing. Harry is busy working. All the attention, the spotlight is on Prince Harry. And as you all know, members of the Rorota have no right to cover Prince Harry's event or even have any kind of access to Prince Harry. But yet, from what we have seen, Daily Mail, The Sun, my family, The Independent, all UK media outlets are practically covering Prince Harry's, my family, you know, trip to New York, whereby he is promoting, my family, his various charities. And Harry is clearly busy. You all know that senior members of the royal family do not like that Harry and Meghan are way more popular than them, than William, than Kate, than Charles, than Camilla. You all know that one of the biggest fears that senior members of the royal family, William, Kate, Charles, and Camilla have, it is to be eclipsed by Harry and Meghan's immense star power. So this time, they have decided, as we all expected, that my family, they'll attack and go after the woman Harry loves. While Harry is in New York City to try and deflect attention from the immense work that Prince Harry is doing in New York, while the senior members of the royal family, who are taxpayer-funded, are lazing around. At the same time, we are hearing that members of the royal family are getting a huge pay raise. So, of course, they want a distraction. They want a distraction. And that's why you see them attacking Megan. even. My family with, uh, honestly, the insults are just utterly so wrong and 
just painful to see. It is painful to see what Megan has to deal with and has had to deal with all these years. It is painful to have to watch what Megan has had to deal with and what she continues to have to deal with all these years. My family, which continues to these days. My family, to this day, my family, to this day, my family. And Megan, just know that we are with you. Megan, we are with you. Now, my family, first it was the Hollywood reporter that was being used by my family, UK Media, and the pilots to try and uh, discredit Megan. My family, right now, everybody knows because of Harry and Megan sharing the story, because of Harry and Megan telling the entire world, you know, about their own personal experiences at the hands of the UK Media in the royal family, what they went through, the racism that Megan experienced, misogyny, xenophobia, everyone can see it. And no wonder right now, no one believes anything that comes out of a UK tabloid. My family, if a tabloid attacked Megan, everyone with an ounce of common sense can see this is just the ongoing smear campaign meant to destroy Megan's, my family reputation. Everyone can see it. So what the Roe family are trying to do, they are trying right now to get American media outlets to attack Megan. With the promise that if they do that, then my family, you know, that they, these other American media outlets, will be given access to Prince William and Kate Moulton. My family will be fed stories by senior members of the royal family. My family, we see that happening with the Daily Beast. We are by Tom Sykes, my family, who is Prince William's cheerleader. He is fed stories by the palace time and time again. And now they've tried it with the Hollywood reporter, my family. And they're looking for others who would help them in my family in their quest to create a toxic environment for Harry Meghan in the US, just like they did to Harry Meghan in the UK. This cannot be allowed. This is unacceptable, my family. So my family, let me explain further kindly, my family. Now, you and I have both seen that As Weekly, my family has uh, quotes from people who are current and former staff members who have worked or are still working with Harry Meghan. And they have shared the experiences, my family, about what it's like to work for Harry Meghan. And they have made amazing, amazing, kind comments about Harry Meghan. Some staffers have said that they're the best bosses to work for. My family, we have seen even Josh Kettler, who UK media were like, oh, you know, why did Josh Kettler only work for, you know, Prince Harry for just three months? How come? How come? How come? How come? They were trying to paint, and have been trying to paint Harry Meghan as the difficult ones. More so Meghan, not even, not even Prince Harry, Meghan, as the one who's difficult, you know, demanding, and uh, she's a bad boss. They've been trying to paint her in that negative light. And my family, what has happened is that as weekly, even the quotes from Josh Kettler have said that Megan is an amazing woman. Harry and Megan are amazing people to work with and they had hard work in my family. Let me even read you what, uh, once again, Josh Kettler said about my family working for Harry and Megan. Number one, my family, he said, and I quote, he was warmly welcomed by both Harry and Meghan and the team at Archwell during his stint and that they are dedicated and hardworking. He tells us weekly of the pair and that it was impressive to witness. My family, those are the words of Josh Kettler, who UK Media 
were trying to say that uh, somehow, you know, the reason why he stopped working there is because Megan is difficult. My family, you've heard what he said. He had no issues with her and Megan. And my family, he said he was warmly welcomed by both her and Megan during his stint working there. And that they had hardworking and dedicated my family. And that it was impressive to witness. Those are the words of my family, Josh Gatler. My family, who UK media were trying to use against Harry and Meghan. We have seen Mandan Diani, Ben Browning, Catherine St. Laurent, all coming out to say wonderful, kind words about Meghan and Prince Harry. My family. Ben Browning, for example, said, working with Harry Meghan was positive and extremely supportive and that we all continue to be friends, says Ben Browning, who worked, my family, you know, on Harry Meghan's, you know, documentary on my family Netflix. You know, that went on to break so many records, my family, at, uh, you know, my family Netflix. You know? Those are the words of my family, Ben Browning. Ashley Hansen, you know, and Madonna Diani, all of them have made positive, kind-hearted comments about Meghan, the Duchess of my family, Sussex. And of course, you know, someone did not like that. And in response of current and former staff members making positive comments, my family, saying amazing things about Harry and Meghan, we have seen Prince William briefing Tom Sykes of the Daily Beast and my family calling Meghan insulting, demeaning names. Once again, my family, you tell me who's the bully? Who's the bully? Who is the bully? My family, I have seen what the Daily Beast has said, my family, you know, my family, whereby, you know, they speak of, you know, psycho moments or, you know, that Megan has had as a boss and that my family, even they label her an innocent woman who simply just fell in love with the white prince. That's all Megan ever did and refused to put up with abuse and racism and fled a toxic environment. They've called her a demon. My family, you tell me Who's the bully? Who's the bully in this story? Yourself with your, with your own honest opinion. Who is the bully? In your own honest opinion, who is the bully? The ones who are calling Megan this insulting, demeaning names? My family or Megan? Who are current and former staff have said amazing kind things about Megan the Duchess of Sussex. Remember, my family, Jeremy Clarkson's vile column targeted Megan. Remember the disgusting things he said about Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. And then, right after he said what he said, he was invited to a party by Camilla Parker Bowles. He at the party being hosted by Camilla Parker Bowles and the ones who make insulting disparaging comments about Megan who call for a kind woman and my family I won't even mention what Jeremy Carson said I won't I won't I won't I just can't utter those words because they were disgusting you know what he said you know what he said so I won't even repeat what he said the person, Jeremy Clarkson, who made vile comments about Megan, which was published by the Sun Tablet. Actually, the editors of the Sun, owned by Murdoch, believe it was okay for them to publish all the nasty things he said about Megan. My family, they believe it was, it was okay. There was no issue because Megan is fair game. UK media are allowed to say and do to her what? Ever it is they want to do to her or say about her by senior members of the royal family, Prince William, Kate, Charles, and Camilla. So my family, 
Clarkson made those vile comments about Megan. An innocent, kind-hearted woman. Who before marriage, nobody ever accused her of bullying. Nobody ever accused her of anything bad. Nobody ever said it was difficult, demanding, or rude, or abrasive. Nobody ever said that. Nobody. In all her years of working. Nobody ever called Megan a bully or difficult. Nobody. But then she marries a white prince, my family, you know, and joins a, an institution that is known for racism, for basically my family, you know, participating in slave trade, and my family bullying and mistreating the women who married the royal family and then and then Megan, who is still being bullied on a daily basis for the past eight years, and you and I and my family have borne witness to that. Who is still being bullied, being called disgusting, demeaning names, my family. Any insulting name you can think of, Megan has probably been called. And then the ones who call her those names are saying that she's the bully. It's important to use common sense. It's very, very important to just take a moment and use common sense. Use common sense. Megan has never ever been the bully in the story. She is the victim. My family, yes, she is the victim. They hound her, abuse her, insult her, paint her in a negative light. My family, she really loves Prince Harry. She really loves Prince Harry because... My family, if it were anyone else, by now they would have left. I think it's all this abuse, mainly directed towards her, is meant to drive her away from Prince Harry's life. Away from Prince Harry. You know? And my family, that's what UK Media are trying to do to Megan. That's what the farm are trying to do to Megan. Because even if you see the article by the Hollywood Reporter... My family, they don't really attack Prince Harry. They only attack Meghan. And my family, you and I have also been seeing these things. We have seen this for the past eight years. I have seen this for the past eight years. Meghan is the one who's their target. Meghan is the one who's their target. She's the one they're hell-bent in destroying. And then Prince Harry will follow after Meghan. But they want to hurt Prince Harry by, first of all, Going after his wife. Going after the mother of his kids. Just think about this. If you're Megan at home. And then you're seeing that uh, you are the one being attacked constantly. By people. My family. Who come from your husband's world. My family. Who believe that they own your husband. That he's the property. And he must be returned to them. And they want you out of the picture. How would you feel? How would you feel? That's why I'm saying all these attacks are meant to make Megan feel that way. To make her want to leave Prince Harry. They are meant to drive her out of Harry's life, my family. Megan, stay strong. You and Harry are a strong couple. A strong couple. To have to go through what you've gone through. And they are intimidated and feel threatened by your immense star power. And they want to clip your wings, dim your light by destroying your relationship. Megan and Harry, do not allow them. Do not allow them. Do not allow them. You know? Megan, do not allow them. So my family, also, think about this. Right after Ask Weekly, you know, mention names of current and former staff members, my family, who've worked or are still working for a Megan, came out and told the truth about how amazing it is to work for Harry Megan. Right after that, who felt compelled to respond? That's a question that you need to ask yourself. Who felt compelled to respond? I repeat, and this is a very important question. Who felt compelled to respond? In fact, this is why we made this video. Who felt compelled 
to respond. My family, the palace, Prince William, using his cheerleader, Tom Sykes, who then proceeded to make insulting, demeaning comments about Meghan. And my family, what they have said, and my family, you know, about Meghan, they have made insulting comments towards her. And they are showing us that they are the ones who bully her. In an attempt to demonize Megan, in an attempt at my family, you know, trying to back up the Hollywood reporter story, what they have done is show us the face of the person who is behind all these attacks on Megan. They have showed us a face, the face of Prince William. When Tom Sykes gets a so-called story, my family, whereby Friends of Prince William talk to him. Palace sources, insiders, courtiers just know that story is coming from Prince William. As I've been saying here, every week, William leaks to Tom Sykes of the Daily Beast how much he doesn't like Prince Harry, how he'll never forgive him for blah, 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 nonsense. Every week, that's what William does. Every single week. Whenever you see a story, from Tom Sykes, just know it comes from Prince William. Just, just know that immediately this is from Prince William. This is a story approved by Kingston Palace, who felt compelled to respond after us weekly mention names of people coming out to defend Meghan. Prince William then responded with his own insults towards Meghan. My family, remember that uh, William is the only heir to the throne who has failed to destroy his peer. I, 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 you know, I, I've been saying that I feel like this, what happens from generation to generation, it's like, a, it's like a, some kind of rite of passage, whereby if you're going to be king, or if you're king, then you must destroy your spear. I don't know, but my family, that's what happens in Britain's royal family from generation to my family generation. The queen destroyed her spear, Margaret. Charles, well, Prince Andrew destroyed himself, but my family, he was always set up to fail, always, Prince Andrew, and always set up to be Charles' scapegoat, always. My family... Now it's Prince Harry's turn. Now it's Prince Harry's turn. My family. They want to break his marriage and destroy his and Meghan's union. And UK Media and the firm are not hiding their intentions. They are showing the entire world that that is what they really want to do. So my family, you know, can you ever, ever negotiate with someone like that who's helping in destroying your life, who's helping in destroying your marriage? Or because he's jealous of your star power. Or because my family, he just has to, you know, destroy you as a kind of rite of passage before he becomes king. That William somehow wants to destroy his spear. That he must, he feels like he must do it. And he's trying to do it by targeting the woman that is so, so important to Prince Harry. His wife, the mother of his kids. The mother of Archie. And Princess Lilibet Diana, my family, and the UK media are trying so hard to destroy them. My family, may they never ever succeed. May they never ever succeed in destroying Harry and Meghan's union. May they never ever succeed in destroying Harry and Meghan's union, my family. But they're trying. They're trying. My family, from one side, meaning from my family, William, Kate, Charles and Camilla, and UK media. The one thing that I've always seen is that they're the ones who are doing the insult, who are my family insulting, you know, Megan, calling her demeaning nicknames, giving her demeaning nicknames. And my family, that's what bullies do. And my family, I can confidently say to all of you, Megan is not and has never ever been the bully in this story. 
the ones who are the bullies in my family are sadly Prince William, Kate, Charles, Camilla, who have mistreated Meghan, who have treated and continue to treat her appallingly. My family. Meghan and Harry have never ever been the villains in this story. They've only ever wanted to love each other in peace, to live in peace, and they want to break that cycle of trauma. My family. And Carl says, passed on from, you know, generation to my family, generation to my family. How did Mega want to break that? You know? And my family, in the words of Denzel Washington, my family, an amazing actor, he said, your own family will treat you appallingly when you're in the process of breaking those generational curses and suffering passed on from generation to my family generation. Your own family will talk bad about you. So my family, you know, open your eyes and see what is right in front of you. Megan is the one who we see every single day. Not a week goes by that carnival of so-called experts, members of the Rota, who make deals with senior members of the royal family, William, Charles, and Camilla. Not a week goes by that they are not insulting Megan and Prince Harry. Not a week goes by. But they're telling you that she's the one who's the bully, Megan. Their target, the woman they've been trying to destroy for the past eight years. Not them. They're the saints, they say. <laughs> Open your eyes and see what is right in front of you. Open your eyes and see what is right in front of you. Right after Ask Weekly, mention names, not anonymous sources, names of current and former staff members coming out to defend Megan and speak the truth about how amazing it is to work for her and Prince Harry. Right after that, we see a response from my family, Prince Williams, Shirley, the Tom Sykes, open your eyes, open your eyes, and even see who was behind that, my family, those lies written by the Hollywood reporter about, you know, Megan's emails to her staff members. Oh, come on. You and I know where it comes from. It comes from the royal family. It comes from Prince William. They are the ones who are after her. They are the ones who are out to destroy her. And my family, they have realized that no one believes anything coming out of a tabloid. So they are trying to, my family, get American tablets to target Megan. Think about this. Not a single, my family, reputable media outlet in America, CBS, CNN, my family, ABC, not a single one of them have picked up this Hollywood reporter's lies. Not a single one of them, my family. You know? But we can see that what William is trying to do is that, even UK media are trying to do is that, they're like, oh, you know what? Even see, even American media outlets are saying the same thing about Megan that we are saying. They are trying to create a pattern. They are tr trying to create a pattern. And my family, Harry and Megan, pulled off a masterclass move where my family, they authorized their current and even former staff members to speak. And they've all said amazing, kind words about Megan and Prince Harry. My family. In the words of staff working for Harry and Megan, they say, my family, if you come for our bosses, we come for you. The ones who are coming for Harry and Megan are UK Media, William, Charles, Kate, Camilla, they're the ones who are after Harry and Megan to destroy them. You know? My family, right now you've seen, you know, staff members who have uh, spoken on uh, in defense of Harry and Meghan and spoken the truth, my family, about Harry and Meghan. You know? My family, you've seen that. Staff members speaking the truth about Harry and Meghan. And right after that, the palace did not like that. And my family, the face of the person who was behind that ear piece targeting Meghan showed his face, showed his face. My family, when he spoke to Tom Sykes, and once again insulting, demeaning, you know, comments about Megan, 
it's always been Prince William. Always. Don't be fooled. It is him. He is the one who's out to destroy Megan. Do not be fooled. It is him. He's the face behind the smear campaign. He is the one who is jealous of Prince Harry. He is the one who wants to take down his brother. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Open your eyes and see what is right in front of you. It's always been him. Just as Meghan said to Prince Harry, it is your brother. It is your brother. It's him. It's your brother. It's your brother. Those were Meghan's words. And Meghan showed you the face of the person behind the smear campaign against her. Meghan showed you the face. She showed you the face behind the smear campaign against her. And William just showed he's the one behind that Hollywood reporter's hit piece targeting Megan. When he proceeded to respond once again using Tom Sykes. Once again making insulting, demeaning comments about Megan using Tom Sykes. Only William. He's the one who uses him. Only William. No one else. William in particular uses him. William. My family, William, I've been telling you every week. Every single week I've been saying this. Every week, William must leak to Tom Sykes how much he doesn't like Prince Harry. This week, he's targeting his wife, Meghan. After Us Weekly, you know, current and former staff, you know, you know of uh, Meghan spoke to my family, Us Weekly. William then responded once again. He wants this lie to remain alive. He wants Megan to be spoken of, my family, negatively. To be painted as the bad person, as the villain in this story. Megan has never been the villain. Never. And William needs to leave Megan alone. William needs to leave Megan alone. She needs to leave Harry and Megan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex alone. William, leave Megan alone and let her live and work in peace and love her husband in peace. William, if you're lazy, that's on you. Stop trying to undermine Prince Harry to prop yourself up. Let Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lilibet live in peace. Let them live in peace. My family, right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. But one thing I want you to note in this story, my family, is this. When the media outlet that responded to my family as weekly, you know, you know, revealing and mentioning the names of current and former staffers of Meghan and Harry coming out to speak the truth about working for Meghan and Harry, saying that they're amazing bosses. The one who has responded with an attack is not the Hollywood reporter. It is the Daily Beast Tom Sykes, who is Prince William's cheerleader. And he has responded the only way they know how to respond, by throwing insults, abuse. And that tells you who the bully is in this story. The bullies have always been the ones, my family, who've been waging this eight-year-long smear campaign targeting Meghan and Prince Harry. The bullies have always been Prince William, Charles, Kate Camilla, never Meghan, never Meghan. Kate is the woman who made Meghan cry. William is the person who physically assaulted his own brother. But of course, they are saying they are good bosses, right? Of course not. They are not and they have never ever been. Never. Never. So my family, it is important that we get more people to open their eyes and see what is right in front of them. The villain in this story has never ever been Harry Meghan. It's always been William in particular. William. And my family... He needs to leave Harry and Meghan alone. He won't destroy Harry. He won't destroy Meghan. He will not succeed in destroying them. My family, I believe I have said enough. You tell me kindly your thoughts about what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Meghan Archie, and also Lily Diana and Doria, Brooklyn, and all of you members who are at home. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned on this video. Love you, my family, always and forever. And may God bless each and every single one of you, my family. And may no weapon for noise, Harry, Meghan, Archie. And also, little bit, Diana Ever Prosper. Hello, members of the Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. 
We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video, leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.